This is how to add uh, product variations for WooCommerce, aka Fiddler Store. Um, so we have a simple product like this, for example, and we want to give it some options. We're going to give it a couple of size options and a couple of color options. That's what product variations are for. And the way you get started is you come over here under products in your admin and go to attributes. And attributes, you need to add a couple of attributes as well as some terms is what they're called. So I've already added an attribute called color and it's got two terms, blue and red. I'm gonna add one more here as an example for you and we'll call this one size. And we'll go ahead and add that. Okay, and you can see we've added size. Now we're gonna go ahead and configure terms. Um, and so within size, I'm going to give it a large option. Just do add new size. And then we'll give it a medium option as well. So once both those are in here, we can go back and double check. So now we'll have options to do medium and large, blue and red. So now we want to go to the product that we want to edit and scroll down and change this option under product type from simple product to variable product. Then here under product data, we're going to go to attributes and we need to add those attributes. So first we're going to click size and add. We want to give ourselves the option of both the medium and the large and we want to click use for variations. So we can use it for our variations. I want to do the same thing with color. Then we'll go up here and update the product. Now if we come down here and click on variations, we're going to have a whole bunch of options. And basically what we want to say is, um, well first we're going to add a variation here. And we'll say large blue one. Um, we'll add another variation, we'll say a medium blue one, and another for a large red one, and another for a medium red one. Now, so you can see we've got basically four new products here within this product is essentially what you've what we created. I can give each one a new SKU, stock quantity, price, sales, price, all this stuff. You can assign each one its own, all of those things. You can also set a new picture for each of these simply by clicking on this picture area here. And then all you need to do is drag and drop a file on there and it will upload just like you're uploading a product image and you can add that for that variation only and so that's displayed for that variation. Um, another cool thing is you can set things for all variations by selecting it here so we'll select prices and do edit and we'll say they're all gonna be $110. You can also set all the other options here as well. Um, once we've got that the way we want it to be with our different variations in and images, etc. for each of those, we're just going to go ahead and update the post. And then if we go over to our product now and refresh, you'll see that we now have some options here. We can choose medium and blue, and now it gives us a price and an amount box and add to cart button. Switch that to large and blue or large and red. Any of those combinations. The price is always going to stay the same because we put them all to the same price. But if you had put in different prices or things like that then it will change depending on your selections up here. And that's how you do it. You can use product variations which is a very powerful feature of WooCommerce aka Filler Store and it's actually not that hard to do if you just approach it correctly. Thanks.